Hello and how's it going my little jimmies? Today we're going to be talking about the history of Guinness World Records. And the only question is how I'm going to make this video a long video with the Wikipedia page looking like this. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Hugh Beaver was an English South African. He was born on the 4th of May, 1890, and he died at the age of 76. So something you need to know about, uh, about him is that he was the managing director of Guinness Breweries. So on the 10th of November, he was on the North Slav, near Slav, not Slav. He, he was in Russian squad and wearing Adidas, uh, near the river Slani in country Wexford, Ireland. So something I need to tell you is that he was playing a shooting game and after missing a shot at a golden plover, he got involved in an argument in which he said who was the fastest game bird in all of, Euro in all of Europe. And if you don't know what a game bird is, is, and it is exactly what you think it is. It is a bird hunted for sport. So basically, what he did that day was just argue with a bunch of people and just imagine an Irishman arguing with everybody. Oh, you fucking poor! Red Ranger's the best ranger! Oh, sorry, wrong offensive accent. After all, the Irish are not all criminals. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I will admit that I took it too far. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So then he noticed that there was not a book to answer all of his questions, and he had an idea. So then his idea became a reality when a Guinness employee, Christopher Ch Chataway, recommended some university friends, Norris and Ross McRider twins, who had been running like a fact-finding agency in London. And the way that I imagine it is like Mythbusters in the 20th century. So then Hugh was like, oh, all right, you, all right, you scalawag, now, now you make me, now you make me a book, and it better be done before I finish this whole entire whiskey block, flask. So then the Guinness Book of Superlatives, and now known as Records, and since they have sold a hundred million copies in a hundred countries, and it has and it has been translated in thirty-seven languages. <laughs> so now you know how the wacky book that you read in the library and did not even read, just look at the pictures, just because you had nothing better to do in the library. Okay, was I too specific? So then, that is how the bulk of your childhood came to be. So yeah, that is that is how they're now. Let's see how they're doing in modern times. Meow. So from its beginning, Ireland. I feel like it has really changed in the way humanity looks like. It looks like a freaks of nature. They went from being a freak shows and being mocked to being admired as like superhuman of sorts. And and I like and I like that I and I would like to end the video on the good note. Anyways, that's real for today. Bye.